Hello, everybody. Once again, we are having an episode of Something to Think About right here on the American Doofus Channel. It's going to be a very short episode. We're going to update you on the latest we know about the uh, possible imp impacts of uh, solar activity on our planet and uh, a couple of other things to touch on. So let's get right to it as quickly as we can here. And uh, we begin with uh, a look at what's going on with our sun as we did uh, at about 2.30 in the morning, earlier this morning, a uh, flare had come out and uh, we, uh, I, said it looked like a possible X-class flare and we would have to wait. Uh, it is. It was indeed confirmed as an X-class flare and there may be another one coming our way. So let's just, uh, let's go with the expert and see what he has to say. Here's Ben Davidson from uh, Suspicious Observers. We've had solar storms. There's more coming and the sun is still blasting away. Got top science news as well, but let's go to the solar wind. The first two impacts occurred in succession and were not tremendously powerful. But their consecutive impacts drove geomagnetic storm conditions that reached KP6 on NOAA's charts. But on the new 30-minute resolution data, we see several instances where it broke above KP6 and one where it fully hit KP7. NOAA's is a three-hour average. We said that last night in the live, if you remember. Don't be surprised if the 6 gets upgraded to a 7 and if those 5s get upgraded to 6s. As you can see across the line here, uh, we were right. We're telling you the truth. We're giving you the facts as we know it. And that's that's what it is. It's facts. It's not about fear. It's about being prepared, being aware, so that you don't panic. So the 30-minute cadence of this one is more helpful in seeing resolved conditions. While it was a consecutive impact scenario, it was still weaker than what I'd expect to cause KP7 conditions. So that may say something about the ongoing weakening of Earth's magnetic field exactly. and the vulnerability of our planet. We said that last night, too, or this morning. Flash flares have occurred since we spoke yesterday, and they produced at least two more CMEs. The last 24 hours on our star showed the activity continuing at that southern active region. And while the majority of plasma was released southward, the X-ray burst cleared the corona in halo CME fashion. Focus not on the brightest plasma going south, but the fainter halo ring expanding in all directions. That is another Earth-directed eruption, also visible on Stereo A at similar width north and south. Again, we showed you all of this at about 2.30 in the morning. The expert is now confirming what we said. Definitely one more coming. And then just in the last couple of hours, we got another one. The cooling graphs aren't updated yet, but we surely see a southward eruption that may have also produced a halo component. We'll have that information for you tomorrow. Folks, while the chances are very low, in what we call the SO era since we began the channel in 2011, this is the first time I've thought there's even an outside chance of major issues. Okay, it's an outside chance, 5 to 10%, but we have to report it. An outside chance of catastrophic issues, 5 to 10%, very low. But our magnetic sphere is so weak. We saw what a weak, what the first two very weak uh, CMEs that came in, they got up to seven. We've got stronger stuff coming in, possibly five more, and uh, with the potential to even more. So it's just wanting you to be aware, be prepared. We've been talking about this for a long time. Be prepared for whatever it may be. And in this case, uh, it may be solar impacts. It is not likely, but if we get another CME impact today, and then the halo CME and the one just this morning also produced a halo that hits, and if they hit with perfectly bad timing, and the BZ is tipped south in the solar wind, that would be five CME impacts and could spell trouble for the global grids. Again, that's not the official's forecast or mine, but if it all happens in just the right way, which is unlikely, there is a small chance this could be a big problem. Eyes up. Okay. okay, so um wanted to touch base and uh, let you know that what we said indeed last night, what we said was uh, was true. And um, we're going to keep monitoring. I'm going to be live at 9 p.m. tonight. The impacts should begin around 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time from 9 to, to midnight, somewhere in that range. 
So we're going to be on, uh, hopefully, if if the internet hasn't been disrupted or if our platforms haven't been disrupted, uh, we'll be on starting at 9 p.m. live on a special edition of Late Night America. This popped up in my Twitter just a few minutes ago, and I wanted to show you show it to you. This is the Alabama Lawrence County Republican Party, and uh, it's their symbol, uh, an elephant, uh, traditional symbol of the Republican Party, red, white, and blue with, with white stars, very traditional. What's not so traditional, the three Klansmen down here um, on the legs of the elephant. They're claiming it was an accident. We just want to give you something to think about. Finally, this from CNN, detailed, uh, a detained woman escaped her handcuffs, shot a deputy and a civilian through the window of a patrol car in Blanchard, Oklahoma. said gun uh, and she was able to see that but that's going to be replaced uh, we're going to put a switch someplace else in the vehicle to lock our gun it's a freak deal it's one of these probably i'm not going to say one in a million but you know it, it's one of those deals that you know once it happens then you go back and try to make sure it never happens again methamphetamine okay why do we uh, why do we bring this up? Well, we've talked about the solar flares coming in. We've talked about the potential impact on um, those with mental or emotional um, conditions. We've talked about the impact of those with heart defibrillators, with all the electromagnetic uh, influences coming in. Look for some crazy stuff over the next few days. Not just not just power grids going down, but look for very erratic behavior in, especially in those that are known for very erratic behavior. As always, it's just some, just some things to think about on the American Doofus channel. We'll be back tonight, 9 p.m. live. Hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching.